All right, guys, I have an amazing treat for you today. This is the Umbrella Polypore, Polyporus umbellatus, or umbellatus. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. This is a really rare saprophytic and parasitic polypore. Um, they're relatively delicious. They kind of remind me of uh, Griffola frondosa, the uh, hen of the woods. But these are a summer fruiter, so they usually pop uh, after the morel season's over and you get the warmer temperatures. I find them during the chanterelle season, uh, which usually my area runs from July until uh, August. And uh, this is July 14th, I believe. And these are the first ones of the season for me. Um, this is a really, really interesting fungi. It's a parasitic butt rot, uh, and it eats away at the roots of um, usually hardwood trees. I usually find it with oak or beech, um, but this one was actually found. There's a bunch here I'm about to show you. These were actually all found with hemlock. I'm in a pure hemlock area here. And uh, I think that's the first recorded case of this. Most people uh, um, definitely um, say that they find them with beech or maple even, uh, but I've mostly found them with oak. I think I've found them once with oak and once with beech. But these guys are definitely growing off the base of this um, hemlock here, this dead hemlock stump. And there's also a bunch of living ones here, so you can see this is a much bigger one. But as you can see, unfortunately, there's flies all over it. These guys, uh, because they form from a scler a sclerotia, um, it's been relatively dry in my area, but because they do form from that sclerotia, uh, they, they get a lot of the moisture that they need and um, and definitely all the nutrients that they need to fruit, even if it's dry out. You know, it's bone dry out here, but these guys still fruited. And so what that means is that uh, when the insects are coming out because of the heat, uh, these are one of the only food sources that they can find. So they really numb these guys down. I'm going to try and move this guy. Oh yeah, it's totally chewed out. But you can see it has a big stalk on it, big main stalk, and then it branches off, sort of like golden oysters do, and they have a bunch of small heads, small fronds, feathers, very similar to uh, Griffola frondosa. So that was an old, bigger one. You can see these, there's two more up here with this hemlock, and these are also too old. <sighs> but definitely the umbrella polypore. There's some more here, and uh, I'm gonna have a poke around and look for some more. Um, if you find one, then they're definitely out. And so we just got some rain, and hopefully maybe some new ones will come out this week. But uh, one really neat, oh, there's another one down there. One really neat thing about these guys is because uh, they form the sclerotia, um, they're also less susceptible to the cold climates, so they can went over winter a lot easier than other fungi. And, um, They'll come back every single year in the same place. So um, I've only actually seen these guys probably two other times. Yeah, as far as I can remember, maybe three, but I think once with an oak and uh, once with a beech. But this is the first time with hemlock, so that's kind of neat. Okay, guys, so although Polyporus umbellatus is a polypore, it actually does form sclerotia. So these are sort of like truffles in a way. Uh, and basically these are where it stores all of its nutrients and sugars. And then every year it has the energy to fruit and pop up one of these beautiful fruiting bodies and drop spores. Now this one we dug up from the old one here and we only took out a small portion of it. This was actually a massive one. There was a huge chunk in here. So we left the rest and uh, we're gonna leave all the other ones here too so they come back, but I'm just gonna take these back so uh, I can do some experimenting with these because apparently they're medicinal. Uh, they're used as a diuretic for the benefit of the bladder. So uh, I'll do a little more research on these and perhaps I can make some kind of decoction or tincture from them. I'm gonna try and isolate a sample of mycelium from them as well and get a culture of these guys going on plate. So yeah, what a wicked day. Polyporus umbellatus, or umbellatus. I don't know how to pronounce that. What a day.
So this is the sclerotia of the umbrella polypore. And uh, as you can see, it's quite beautiful once it's polished up. They're very dense, and just like truffles, they sort of take this shape, this globular shape. They're extremely medicinal, apparently. Um, used as a diuretic. Um, apparently has some restorative benefits and some possible aphrodisiac benefits. This sclerotia directly produces the uh, polypore fruiting body. And this is where it gets all its energy and nutrients from. And this attachment, you can see all the little roots in it. Those are the roots from the hemlock that would feed this all of its nutrients. You can see the inside color is sort of a yellowish tan. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful sclerotia. Love it.